Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there, with a little help. It is doubtful you could have done better. If you could, you would not have raised me from the dead. Whoa, 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 don't go all rabid zombie demon on me. It was just a little constructive criticism. You did a commendable job, considering you were, you know, reborn yesterday. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. But I do not have a quill. Even better. <laughs> Relax, Tony. I simply jest. It is an ink derived of the spider lily flower. Red spider lily flowers. Of course it was. Obviously. With just a touch of Manphibian blood for power. Haha! -ha, another zinger. And we'll just leave it at that. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Hi, I'm Tony Stark, but if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man Rule. journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. There was never enough room for my armor in this thing.
We were all so happy then. past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later. But for now, Stark trusted your presence in the forge. I think he has another present for you. Feeling good today, girl? Sanctum is airborne and covered in slime. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The Forge has certainly... Changed? Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, Fashion accessories. Mm, yes, speaking of. Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two are such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. Still think it could. 
could have used a cloak. Stylish, damn near indestructible, and we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. I still think it could have been... I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? Tell me about this demon. Why is it there? Well, you would probably know more about that than me. I'm still working on a way to keep track of everything that goes bump in the night around here. Whatever they've got trapped down there. It's hotter than hell by a few thousand Kelvin, very pissed off, and really good at weaving synthetic microblends. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them, too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. So it is a marvel, then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things. Remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye olde demon hunting school, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning, but Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? Got more coil for me? Take your pick, Hunter. Have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? None. All right, then. Caretaker could have been... Let's do this.
Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. But you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. <laughs> Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie. Going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous, invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> My time as a pilot taught me one thing. It's that sometimes, you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Well, if there is any time to put your powers of persuasion to work, now is the time, Captain. Trust me, Hunter, I'm looking forward to it. Hydra's been a thorn in me and Steve's asses for years. Can't wait to remove them for good. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. Ow. The gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the gamma signature from the Sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... <laughs> Sorry, still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? We should be able to track this new Gamma Signature to its source then, right? I'd do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification... We'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens to everyone. Well... Okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. A creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. It was just recently that the Hudson Yards developed... French coat, sunglasses at night, blue personality. and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse, so we'll be patching Dr. Banner through from Avengers Tower once you reach the other side. It almost feels like cheating with you two on our side.
scratch abandoned off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Johan Fenhoff. That dick. I heard he was dead. Well, hoped is perhaps a more accurate description. Calls himself Faustus now. Hydra's resident mad scientist. Not just Hydra's. Lilith's. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. I need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. Kill them. Its fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. Not a problem. That's one hell of a move. Sure I can't change your mind? So many fear your strength. Hail Hydra! You don't know who you're messing with. You cannot stop me like that. Reinforcements inbound. I've never been one to buy into the science of magic, but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. An alien hybrid and a resurrected demon hunter, right? are wild and unpredictable. These rentamerks have no gumption. for me. 
reinforcements on approach. Is it possible he somehow stabilized the rate of decay within the particles themselves? How else could he be achieving such a high yield? I don't know, Bruce. I'll be sure to ask him when we're done punching out the bad guys. I am impressed. That's a neat trick. I can arrest you for that in New York, Blade. Position compromised! Perhaps Faustus's device is worth further study. If you wouldn't mind, Carol, I'd prefer it if you and your supernatural associates not... Yes. Opportunity to field test mother's device. Mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with? What? Now that was something. Centuries ago. You are lucky to still be breathing. They have got help. Preliminary. 
preliminary analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. Unknown to you. There is dark magic at work here. You must not let Hydra escape with it. experiment or track potential future variants gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample from his initial occult catalyst. Got it. Stop the trouble. These fanatics are always the same. Get ready. Leave some for the rest of us. Hydra stand and follow the great team. This is gonna hurt. Yep, that'll make him hate ya. Ought to make things interesting. Get my head on straight. Someone call for reinforcements? Mother, protect us. Ah, these delays can be quite frustrating. Infuriating, even. I suppose by now I'd normally be tromping through the warehouse, hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. I've got a pair of torn purple pants with your name on them. Come get it. Do some for the rest of us. One less thing to worry about, 
approximately 16,342 more to go. I can get starting with the main type of forces in your vicinity. Aww. I was hoping for the R-rated version. Mercy for the servants of Lilith. You were too weak for this fight. We've done it! What is this thing? Bad guy crane. Full of bad guy stuff. I know those symbols. From the time of the first hunt. That cliff means barrier. That one, almighty. Something, something. Gods and demons. So a spooky bad guy crate. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. <sighs> Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. How about we get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves? <laughs> I didn't get Hydra bombed until my 10th run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? Then you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey Tournament tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The Eternal Spirits of Vengeance take technical fouls very seriously, especially in fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. It is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again? Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. You know what they say, all work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on, you should hang out. I should rest. Another time. Let me see. How did this work again? <laughs> 